Welcome to episode 5 of Robert Griffin III Heisman Challenge, and today, him, he and his Texas Red Raiders are going against TCU at... <laughs> Number 15, TCU. Ooh, wow, that's gonna be interesting. Out of the polls for the first time since week one, Baylor dropped their second game in a row at Oklahoma State 59-24. RD3 turned into a second straight 400 plus yard game in a losing effort going 27-41 for 425 yards and two total TDs. RG3 was known for his pre-point accuracy of clean over 70% of his passes eight games in 2011. Robert found the end zone both through the air and on the ground in eight games in 2011. incredible season and we've got what looks to be an exciting game coming up. Texas Tech. Kirk, take everybody inside the huddle right now with this offense and what they hope to gain in this football game. Look for a lot of passing from these guys. The quarterback knows he has a big stable of receivers to work with, and he's comfortable looking to any of them. They'll utilize a lot of quick passes and maybe even some slip screens. It's a lot of fun to watch. Here comes the pressure. Wow, look at that run. Tackle around the 45-yard line. First down. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. First and ten. All on the 45-yard line. Back to pass. And he tackles him hard. The 37 yard line. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks. Or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. It's second and long. Ball on the 37. Fires it out. They'll bring him down. Right the 44 yard line. Carter brings him down at the 44 yard line. That brings up third and ten. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. So this crowd is making their presence felt. Back to pass. Oh, oh damn. This one's Bad throw. throw. Down, right around midfield. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. Luckily, there's From six own, points. 24 yard line. First down. That's an answer. Yeah. He's looking to pass. 
Moves up in the pocket. Pressure coming. What a nice run. At the 36. This is a pretty and tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's yeah, going to do whatever it takes to help his team. First and ten. Ball of their own 36. Drops back to pass. And he's level at the 28. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. From their own 28-yard line. Second Ow. down. Back to pass. He oh. Yeah. Carson with the catch. At the 40-yard line. First down. What a throw. Well, here you get to see how accurate the quarterback is. He places the deep ball in there perfectly. Just a great throw. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Look at the throw. Oh, and he's going to be sacked. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Drops back to pass. Oh. Well, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the third. This crowd in full throw right now. Here we go. Get to that quickly. And they make the stop at the 11. You know, watching that quarterback make that play, that is a big-time throw. I thought he did a nice job with his vision. He's looking under the defense, really just trying to survey the defense to see where he needs to make a throw. And he waited until the last second, but he made the right throw, and he put it in position again for that receiver to make that play. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. He drops back. Quick pass. And he shoves out of bounds at the four yard line. Jackson picks him up around seven yards with that catch. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Looks like an option here. Can get in. Uh, not yet. That's good for and this is the ninth play of the current drive. They stack the line of scrimmage here. Let's see who's got the stronger arm. Little handoff. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. The offense Count will take six. over at the 25-yard line. Looks to pass. He steps up. Uh, Tackle oh, made right around the 26-yard line. Quarterback picked up a yard at best there on the scramble. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. He drops back, throws it in a hurry, and he's tackled right around the 40. A good pick up there. Woo, he better be careful. Let me tell you, his throw had to be perfect, and it was. Good coverage by the defense that time, but sometimes that's not good enough.
from their own 40-yard line. It's first down. Henry gets a carry left side, and down he goes, right around the 48-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Back to pass. Steps up. And he's taken down at about the 39-yard line. First down. From the 39-yard line, first down. There's a play fake. Jones. Great concentration. That's good for a gain of 14 yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25 yard line. Drops back on first down. Sheds a tackle. He's wrapped up for the sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. He's looking to pass. Oh, another sack. Hits him hard at the 37. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Drops back to pass. Oh. Ooh. Close to being intercepted. There was not a soul open there. He threw the double coverage because it was an obvious passing down, and the defense knew the pass was coming. They'll start this drive at the 24. They try the option, left side. Gets out to around the 35. The Red Raiders call a timeout. That's their second of the half. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's back to pass here on first down. Makes the drag past the marker. And he is drilled at the 44. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44 yard line. And they get the sack. It's like they ran out of time. Defensive dominance through two quarters of play. We go to halftime. The Horn Frogs in front by six. They'll start at the 25. Over the middle, guys, tight end. Tackle at the 34 yard line. First down. 
He diagnosed the blitz immediately and had time to improvise for the big play. That's the kind of quick thinking you need to succeed as a quarterback. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. Drops to throw on first down. He's got it out to his tight end. He's at the 20. And he's tackled in the open field. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. From the 13-yard line, first down. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. And that's what happened there. So the sack makes this a second and long. Touchdown. Wide open. And some kind of catch and run by the halfback. Uh, that was a mismatch that the offense took advantage of. He completely burned the defender for the score. They'll go to work at the 47-yard line. Steps up in the pocket. Ah. And he can't get away from the pressure. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Oh, damn. They bring the down. Hey, a more time. That would have been a fake completion. But he got sacked instead. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. This place is rocky. Back to pass. He goes downtown. It's caught. They'll bring him down at about the 13. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big time game. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Oh, touchdown. The end zone touchdown. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. One of the things a quarterback's looking for before the ball is snapped on a post route is to see if he has one safety in the middle of the field. Because with one safety, you can use your eyes to move that safety and then throw back the other way for the touchdown. And I thought the quarterback that time did a really good job of managing that safety and eventually making the throw for the touchdown. They'll go to work at the six-yard line. Texas Tech with a one-point lead. They'll throw on first down. Ah. Zip it out. That was almost picked off. Oh, God. Griffin lucked out there. That was, that was obviously an interception. Makes it second and ten. From their own six-yard line. Second down. Looking to throw. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That's good for a game of 18 yards. First down. Yeah, he was out of bounds. Wonder if we're going to walk out that way, too.
Okay, we challenge, challenge it. And 10. Ball and on the 24-yard line. First down and back to pass. Here comes the pressure. Stepping up. He's to the 40. What a run. And he tackles him hard at the 43. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. He looks to throw on first down. Fires it out. Brought down at the 35. Ferk makes the tackle at the 35-yard line. First down. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. From the 35-yard line, first down. Texas Tech is up one. Wow, touchdown. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, it's been a fun afternoon because he's having a lot of success. And the reason is he's in tune with his receivers and they're really playing with a great rhythm. And now's the time for another sharp series from this quarterback as he looks to add to their lead and silence the crowd. Wow, a tie game. This drive will start at the 20-yard line. Back to pass. Steps up. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. From their own 32 yard line. First down. Nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. From their own 37 yard line. Second down. Back to pass. Ah, threw it away. I guess it's the right thing. The defense and getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Third down at six yards to go. Ball on the 37 yard line. The student section's going crazy. He drops back. Ah. And he almost has the IT. This unit has quick hands, and they showed it there by knocking away the pass. Ooh. 43 seconds to go in the game. They'll set up shot at the 21 yard line. Under a minute left. Moves up in the pocket. Ah oh, man. They had chances to make that big run. Yard on that scramble. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 22. Looks to pass. Ah oh, man. Where the defense has to be very frustrated here. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. 
from their own 22-yard line. It's third down. The intensity of this place is increasing. He drops back. He airs it out. Tackle made at the 32. Texas Tech's called their final timeout. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. First down, look at the throw. The cavalry's coming. Uh, might, might be going overtime. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen Ooh. have. Could be it. Oh, oh, down. Now we're going well, over time. We have fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. First and ten, ball on the 25. He drops the throw on first down. Quick out to his receiver. And he's tackled around the 10 yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. First and ten, ball on the 10. From the 21 yard line, it's second down. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. the 25 yard line it's first down looks like it's gonna be an epic game drops back on first down Henry he makes a catch and has a first down inside the 10 I'll tell you something I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on he's really throwing the ball with some purpose First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He's under pressure. Oh, touchdown. touchdown. Texas Tech. So the offense comes up big, and now they're just an extra point away from a third overtime period. I know we usually don't talk about extra points being big kicks, but they don't get much more important than this one. <laughs> wow. Phantom touch. <laughs> God, RC3 is one lucky guy, man. He gets all the breaks. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. to pass. Um, oh, sack. It's a great tackle at the 31-yard line. His pass rushing dominance is bringing him close to the single-game sack record. Well, this guy's putting on a clinic on how to be a dominant pass rusher. He's so well coached, but he also has a ton of intangibles that you just can't teach. So it's second and 16. Ball on the 31. Drops back to pass. 
finds his receiver, touchdown. So in the first possession in the third overtime, this offense takes it in for six. There's no resting easy yet. They still have to stay on the field and try to convert a very crucial two-point conversion. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. Texas Tech up six. He's looking to pass. Oh, man. And they will get the two. Looks like TCU's going to win that game. Oh, Texas Tech won. And that should do it. Our final tally of this one. Texas Tech 48, TCU 42. The Horn Frogs, 42. Crazy game. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. This is exactly what we expected, isn't it? Two very closely matched teams, and a full game wasn't even enough to decide this game. They had to persevere a lot to prevail. Texas Tech had their work cut out for them today, but they were up against a team very similar to them in a lot of ways. And those are always the toughest matchups. It took a lot to get this victory. Take a look at our choice for today's player of the game. He made a big contribution to his team's win. So that's going to wrap things up for us. For EA Sports, Aaron Andrews and Kirk Kirkstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks. We'll see you next time. Number three, wow. Well, I will see you next time. Bye.